Hi guys, okay, so today I'm going to be doing The Niche, a genetic survival game. And I'm going to just go straight into it, get all the basics down for today, and then hopefully I'll have a bit more in the next episode. So the first two creatures we're going to have are going to be named Adam and Eve. So I'm going to name their little world The Garden. Because I'm not creative at all. <laughs> so I'm just going to go over a few basic things starting with the mutation menu. When you put these in here, they have like, there's a more of a chance of baby getting the things. So hopefully we'll be able to mess around with this a little bit. I'm just going to put these in because I'd like to see if maybe I can unlock some of these genetics just to get started off. And then we have Eve and Adam. These little tiny crystals on their chest represent how many moves they have. So every time that I make a motion like gathering food, this it'll go down a little bit. It'll also take away one of our food, but I'm gathering food. So doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, so now Eve, she's pregnant, so she's going to have this little tiny pregnant symbol down there. And let's go over the age. As they age, the white bar will fill up. For every little one of these three bubbles, they will get one of their little crystals for them to make movements every day with. And for every time they get hurt, this red bar will extend. If the red bar goes all the way to touching the white, then oh, sadly our little tiny Eve, she's going to die. And eventually she will die. It won't take long. Uh, sadly, it doesn't take long at all for them to die. But that's just how the game goes. And then we also have how far they can move, how much they can collect, and how strong they are for both of them. And Adam, he's venomous, so he also has poison thing. Let's go to their genetics. You can see that they have normal ears and then they're recessive. There's the medium ears and normal eyes. I'm like, oh, I said normal ears. I'm sorry, I meant medium ears. And then we have poisonous things for him, and we have the big nose for her. She has the normal body for both her normal and her recessive uh, slot. And she has a runner plates, A and B immunity genes, and as it says here, um, having the same symbol twice increases the chance of being sick. And then just some looks and things like that. Adam, he has F and G, and he has no paw which means that he doesn't get any benefits from this paw. It's sort of a disability. I'm going to try and breed that out, but I'm going to try and breed his poison thing in. Uh, since we've already done everything we can with Eve, I'm just going to make Adam discover some more locations. Hopefully we'll find more food soon. And let's just do the next day. It's raining, so our bush completely filled itself, so I'm going to have Eve collect that real quick. And then we'll look at our little baby boy. We can tell it's a boy because of the mane it has. It has good legs like mommy, the big nose like mommy. Uh, we're going to try and breathe that poison thing in though, and then he has A for mommy and G for daddy. Uh, that's basically what's up with them right now. I'm going to move Eve over here. So Adam can breed with her and he can start moving on this way in search of more food, more everything. And then Eve, she'll be able to jump back into the nest when this little baby guy is out of the nest. And now he can get out of the nest, so I'm going to throw her. I'm going to discover this, jump in, and get the food. And Adam, he can look around a bit more. And that's it for this day. These first days are going to be really fast since I only have three little characters to move around. Oh, now we have a little forest. We have a little boy. Um, great legs. He has the B and the G immunities. So a little bit different. And I'm a little afraid of what's moving there. Oh, it's a rabbit. It's a rabbit hut. 
So that's going to be great. I'm going to place one of our little babies there. Uh, for now, I'll just put this one here so that he can kill any rabbits that come near. And we'll just have her do this. <gasps> we have a berry bush right next to us. This is great. It's absolutely perfect. It's two berry bushes in a row. Oh, you don't understand how happy this makes me. Have that baby there. This baby is going to be the one that's gathering. Then we have Adam. We'll just look around a bit more. Move over here so that he can discover. I'm so happy we found that other bush. It makes me, you don't understand how happy it makes me. I'm ecstatic because of it. Because food is a big problem that I've been having in my little testing playthroughs. I tested out the game a little bit just to see how it goes. And I'm gonna have her move over here. I want her to breed with Adam. I'm going to move her here just so that he can breed with her. And then she can go back to her little mound. And hopefully have a girl. We might have more girls. Adam can come here. I'm going to have this little boy discover this location though. And it rained again. I'm so happy. This is the best beginning I've had. Oh no, I forgot that bunny. That bunny got away. But it's okay. It's not too bad. And we found our first little person. It's a little tiny girl and she's so cute. Let's look, does she have the, oh she does have the bad paw though and the no paw. But, oh, she does have big ears though. That's really nice. That she has G and F, which means I will not be breeding her with Adam. I will not do that. That is bad for her. Um, and we have the little baby with A and F and good legs, both of them. So far, good with legs, but I just jinxed myself. We're gonna have terrible legs from here on out. Um, and yeah, that's always how it goes. You always get terrible legs as soon as you mention that you got good legs for one. And I'll move Eve over here so that she can gather more of those. And move to the next day. See the little rabbit right there. The little rabbit. And we'll have a baby. Get that bush so that we can have him discover a little more area. Um, I haven't even been paying attention to my food. That's not a good way to play the game. I'm going to try and pay attention more so we don't get anybody hurt. I kind of want to move him off the mound, but that is not a safe move, so I won't be doing that. Uh, G and F, what does he have? His A and G. I'm probably going to have to breed her with a baby from somebody else. You know what? I'll, probably, I'll breed her, him and her. Anyways, hopefully they'll be able to pass on what they need to pass on. And I'll lead her and that little baby over here and put her there. And we'll just have him gather and he can do a little more exploring. Well, he can do this. Oh no! We didn't have enough food. I'm so sorry. And there's a rabbit. But we did get a little tiny with F and A. That's nice. Um, good legs, good everything. Yeah, that's safe. And we'll have him gather. And bring him back up here because that was not a good idea to bring him off. We got the berry paw, we got yellow fur, and we got the stripes. Nice, nice, nice. Everything looks so great. 
We can probably gonna move that up there. Do everything organized a little bit more. And this over here. Uh, what else should I add? I'm. I'll try and give them some more strength as well. And then Adam, he can look there. No, oh no, I forgot to crap the food. Oh, I'm such a, I'm such a klutz. Uh, but it's okay. We'll move you off of there. And you I'll keep you over here. Keep you nice and safe. But I like to try and keep the nest empty so that whenever we do have a little baby, do I have any babies that have a bad paw? I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Um, I think I'll stop this day. And then, right after I look at some of this stuff. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. But it'll have to be okay. <laughs> I'm messing up. I'm gonna really mess up and hurt some people bad. But we do have a rabbit after I gather from that bush. We'll kill that rabbit and we'll collect it. This girl can do that. And then I'll just discover some more of this. Make sure that our nest is safe from predators. Very, very safe from predators. We don't want any predators anywhere near our nest next day. We're luckily it is raining. And Adam and Eve are about done. So what does she have? Um Add him over here so that he can breed a little bit more before he's done for. He can go in the nest and breed. And I'll bring her over here as well. No, I'll bring him. I'll leave him there. Bring her over so that she can breed with Adam. I think I can just look around a little bit and find another bush because he's an amazing dad. We'll bring Eve over, she can look at that. Have their little girls look around a bit. And I think about Oh, another little rabbit hole thing. Um, I'll collect food because I'd rather not. Oh no, I did the wrong move. Um, but it's okay. We have a lot of. We have a lot more possibilities. We have a lot of promise for this new. New little world that we've created. Um, I'll move. Have Adam do that. Do Adam discover that while well, I have Eve. Oh no! Forgetting to get the food again. I'm moving everybody around to places I didn't want to move them to. There is a rabbit right there. Let me get that. Let you discover that. And little baby, you can move here. And you can gather that. And that will be it for this day. Actually, I think that this will be it for this first episode 
Um, nobody died, a few people got hurt. So it looks like Adam and Eve are probably gonna die as soon as they go to sleep. But that's okay. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of a new episode soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys and bye.